Hello viewer, if you would like to keep the unknown's origin a secret to yourself, probably better you click off the video, but if you do want to know about the unknown, well, I'll get right into it. Right, so according to the Killers' Law, the Office of Strategic Services, or the OSS for short, ran a 1950s experiment called Project Apple Pie with the first plausible encounter with the unknown being in the late 1950s. The law states the top secret government research program did mind control experiments using hallucinogenic drugs. The witnesses said these experiments were performed throughout the country, including in movie theaters, hospitals, and universities. Many believe these unethical experiments opened doorways to other dimensions which allowed evil things to enter the world. Before going through the add-ons, I do want to remind you that add-ons are based on the killer's memories, so every one of these add-ons is important to the unknown's lore. The yellow add-on device of undisclosed origin would probably be from a different dimension considering the OSS was unable to determine its origin. The green add-on front page article states that the assailant had torn gaping holes in the walls of the cabin, remember holes for later, and notice the unknown has holes on its neck when it turns in the lobby right here. The green add-on, the B-Movie poster, states that the movie was rumored to be state-funded propaganda made specifically for something called Project Apple Pie. The purple obscure game cartridge add-on states that some maintained Project Apple Pie evolved over time, turning to new forms of media for results. The iridescent OSS report has the description that the report was redacted to the point of being meaningless. And then the red iridescent, the captured by the dark add-on, states that the documentary purported that the disappearances were linked to small town cinemas. So, the B-movie poster, the obscure game cartridge, the OSS report, and the captured by the dark add-ons are related to the OSS's Project Apple Pie propaganda. It looks likely that the Greenville Theater and arcade machines were propaganda for Project Apple Pie, and Greenville was a secret research area on the civilian population, possibly with the use of hallucinogenic drugs, which civilians were unaware of. What if the Greenville Square map is actually from the memory of the killer, rather than Sable? If this is true, the Greenville Square map has an excessive amount of arcade machines even in the forest area and outside the map, which might indicate some significance to the unknown's memories, or perhaps the arcade machines have some significance to Project Apple Pie. The cosmetics, right? This X looks slightly crooked from what an X in this world would look like. So option one, what if the crooked X is from a crooked world where things are jagged compared to the things in this world? which would explain the unknown's human appearance despite non-human features, or option two, what if the axe is actually organic material as it's in part of the unknown? The latter would probably be a bigger stretch. As for the map, the description states that something wanders freely along the overgrown streets, a writhing creature responsible for a string of disappearances across the country going back decades. Even the local cinema provides no sanctuary. The unknown has made its home in the Greenville Square map as stated by the writhing creature's description. Emphasis is put on the local cinema, which might be illustrating the connection between Project Apple Pie media propaganda and the captured by the dark documentary stating the disappearances are linked to small town cinemas. There is strong likelihood that the Greenville Square map is Achilles' memory of it and is a reliable narrator setting in the lore perspective. Now that we're on the map, I want to show you something. Okay, so this hole here, remember what I was talking about holes? I see how these holes around this big giant hole are somewhat reminiscent of the holes on the unknown's neck. And then watch what happens. Hold on, let's find the right spot for it. Do you hear that? When you hit it, it sounds like something organic, like when you hit the cysts on the Raccoon City Police Department map. So the implications of what these holes are is a little bit gross. It's like organic material that dissolves and melts away actual material as hard as bricks. So there's that, right? And then there's this other thing as well on the map. 
So here the Moonstone Cafe states that it's been operating since 1981. However, something is a bit peculiar on this map because when you go to check the actual theater, here the calendar states January 1972. The 72 is a little bit faded out, but there's that, right? So, here's the um, holes on the unknown's neck again. See, pretty similar, right? Eh? There we go. So, there's two explanations, or three really, right? Option one, the unknown is a being from another dimension stuck in Greenville after Project Apple Pie and wants to adapt and make a new home in an unknown and unfamiliar environment. The holes add on, the holes in the map, and the holes on the killer all connect together. If you wake up one day in another world and didn't know how to get back, wouldn't you want to make it so your environment is as closest to his home as it could be? So option two would be Carl Jung's collective unconscious and the concept of willing something into existence. Take what you find scary, and what everyone finds scary, from crazy x murders to crawling spiders, to tentacled aliens, and combine it into this killer to form an average scary being based on a lot of people's perceptions of what scary is. Plausibility to this theory is the CIA detests mind control through drugs on the US population in real life and detests to see if psychic abilities exist in people. What if the in-game war got the military experiment with drugs part right, but didn't reveal that the military used hallucinogens to boost people's psychic abilities? The reveal livestream showed the title Project Project 0R01, which is military nomenclature in the Greenville Theater, and what do Michaela Reed and Sable Ward both have in common, aside from being friends and growing up in Greenville? Michaela is the most powerful boon user, and Sable introduced invocations, both forms of magic or maybe rea reality really psychic abilities where Michaela is literally a clairvoyant. So what if the two explanations or actually one explanation where the lore stating many believe in the mind control experiments created doorways to other dimensions actually did create a doorway for the unknown to enter. So there's some inconsistencies with this theory, right? Before I get into them, first I want to point this out on the statue, it'll come into play a little bit later. Note Michaela and Sables' signatures on the statue, right? So the first inconsistency is that the theater has the map saying it's uh, January 1972, while the Cafe Moonstone opened in 1981. The telephone booths, the arcade machines in the cars line up with the 1970s or 1980s which are located and scattered around the map. Sable Ward dresses like she's from the 1990s at the earliest. The chronology is inconsistent and hard to discern something from it. If the Greenville Square map is a memory of the unknown, then what reason would it have to remember Michaela and Sable's signatures on the statue? The theater would be of importance to the unknown, not the statue. One other thing as well. So the pick undone. Has a quote of the OSS from 1943 with the redacted possibly alluding to the unknown. This would contradict the lore saying Project Apple Pie was started in the 1950s. Maybe they knew of the unknown's existence and the project was a way of calling it back to this world. With this, however, there are some unanswered questions. So first, what reason do the movie posters have for changing on every iteration of the map Greenville Square? Is it to make the map more interesting or is there some other significance? Additionally, the hypnotist's watch add-on states hypnotherapy was used on a subject to recover repressed memories and what emerged from their mind would be their undoing. The only visible physical psychic effects the unknown has is inducing hallucinations. Was the undoing caused by bad memories or was it caused by something else that's unknown about the unknown? Lastly, is the unknown really evil or is it a predator that uses voice mimicking to lure food? The rabbit's foot add-on provides credibility to the latter, along with multiple no-trace ever-found disappearances 
in the lore, possibly being explained by the unknown eating them, as it does to survivors in the Mori animation. Additionally, how come the survivors being Mori, then being disintegrated or turned to ash, is the exact same effect as when a survivor dispels a hallucination? I really can't think of an explanation for that last part, but yeah, those are some possible explanations and lore theories of what the unknown is, as considering what we have so far is a little bit vague. This is before they've released a rift entry related to the unknown, so when they do that, I reckon it's probably going to be related to Project Apple Pie, and possibly it might have some for the implications in the unknown story or they might just keep it vague and minimalistic but yeah uh additionally i would like to hear your thoughts as well on uh what you think of this reasoning and if you have any other insights to share in it as well i'd uh, i'd be quite happy to discuss this because it's really fascinating really and yeah see you in the comments